Oh yeah. I have to upload this how it is. So, because, okay, so pretty much this thing saves in HD. And I wanted to edit this, but then I'm like, okay, I'm not going to have enough time to save this video, upload it to my computer, and then upload it to my movie, um, and then let my movie synchronize it so that it can handle HD video editing. And then edit it, and then save it, and then upload it to YouTube in time for tonight because someone on Tumblr wanted me to make a video and upload it tonight, so yeah, I'm not going to edit this, so I'm sorry, whatever you just saw, I don't know pretty looking and talk like I had to make sure that the camera's at a right angle and that I don't know like I focused it wrongly like I was messing or something with it and then it's like locked on a focus so that it like if you press play and it's on focus to a ponytail it's going to be blurry the whole time when you take it away so I don't know but whatever so I'm sorry if I don't look presentable or whatever in my shirt I've worn this before that's lovely because you're allowed to wear whatever the fuck you want more than once. Because you know what? I'm not rich and I don't have a million dollars on hand and I can't exactly buy a new shirt for every single day of my life. Like, no, I probably have like maybe 30 shirts that I, you know, can wear. So it's not like I can, you know. And then I only actually wear like 10 of them because those are my only like favorite shirts out of those that look presentable with other things. Okay, so update video. Tomorrow I'm going to be going to Sioux Falls to see Dr. Flynn because she is going to do a mental medical check up on me because they have to do them like every three months after you get discharged from a long term treatment place. And so I'm getting that. Um, they're going to take my ADLs and she's going to talk to me about my meds and how I've been doing, self harm, thoughts, um, things like that. So I actually missed the one last time because my mom didn't have exactly enough money to get up there. This time she has $15 so we have enough money to get up there. Uh, it's because, you know, she bought wine for herself. She's going to help her friends, which she never really does anymore. So I'm like, whatever, have fun. Um, she bought expensive vanilla extract to make cookies. So it did, it, everything just kind of adds up. Um, and, you know, we don't have like another person in our family like supplying any income so we can't exactly you know afford like everything so yeah um but I hope it goes well I'm not exactly sure how my eating is going it's just kind of it's how it is so yeah I haven't had my med trousers on in so long it feels like it's been a month probably it's been like half a month at the most or something like that um, because I'll wake, okay, I'll be tired pretty much all day, and then I'll, like, lay in bed at, like, 9, and I'll go to sleep, and then I'll wake up at, like, 11 or 1 in the morning, and I'll be up for, like, an hour. Just, like, I won't be able to sleep. I'll be, like, laying there, and then I'll get hungry, and I'll eat something, and then I lay back in bed, and then sometimes I'll go on Tumblr for like 20 minutes or 10 or 5 minutes, and then I'll go to sleep. I'll like pass out and be like, I'll like press the button on my iPhone, and then I'll be like, shut off. And then, yeah, it wakes me up in the morning, and then I wake up again, and it's like 4 o'clock, and then I wake up again, and it's like 6.45, and it's like, oh my gosh, why do I have to wake up so much? Like, can I just sleep throughout the night? I don't know, maybe it has to do with my pillow, but, um... The fact that it happened after I stopped taking my meds, cold hard turkey, it's probably why. And it's because I thought taking them when I woke up to avoid binging and purging on the weekends would be a good idea. Um, that just added up over time, I'd say, because we've had like three day weekends pretty often. So, like this recently. So, like that can add up. Like three weeks would be like nine pills. And like taking them extras and maybe my mom's trying to take them sometimes as caffeine pills because once she told me she tried to take like half of one to go to sleep and it made her like really wide awake so maybe she's been taking them to like be more like awake when she works out and stuff um but I noticed that I don't feel as sad when I'm not on them which is really weird but I'm like I don't know it's different like some days I'll be more irritable than others Sometimes I'll just feel, feel more irritable than others. It's just, it always varies. Um, today, I will read what I wrote. 
Um, I was surprised when I weighed in at 96.2 pounds in the morning. It, I was scared I was going to be 98 again. I had a hard time avoiding eating yesterday. I ate over a pound of butter, two cups of sugar, and probably eight to ten servings of oatmeal. I feel disgusting. I ate an apple and 350 calorie cappuccino this morning and dry heaved before science. Today I have been dry heaving usually after I eat anything. I have not binged yet. Maybe I won't binge today. Last night when my mom came home, I was in bed and she checked up on me and I asked her if she brought any food home. I almost asked for food, but I sweet talked myself out of it and fell back asleep. I woke up at 1 a.m. and ate an apple and some peanut butter, which I hate myself for. Without my sleepy meds, I wake up throughout the night hungry and it's interfering with my weight. I love how my hair looks today. For our lunch, I had a bag of Lay's baked sour cream onion chips. Um, 130 calories, a small pickle, and some candy corn, 100. I dry heaved. I hope I don't have to stay after school. I didn't have to stay after school. Um, I won't, I want to go home and do something with food, to be honest. My size, one super skinny Hollister jeans don't fit me like they did last year when I was 97-ish pounds. They are tighter, which hurts me mentally. I have to lose more weight to get skinny. I'm not yet as skinny as the girls on Tumblr and need to be. Um, I'm wearing them right now. I actually made an outfit of the day wearing these like a year ago on my other channel. Yeah. Uh, I just don't feel like I'm as skinny as I used to be before I went into treatment. Like, I was the same weight, maybe even a little higher. And then... I fit into these better, like they were looser. It, and then like I swear I was tinier. I swear I was. I just don't understand why. I weigh the same, but I I look bigger. I feel bigger. Like in my jeans and stuff, I feel bigger. But that can be part of my eating disorder thinking and irrational. Disordered thinking. Um so yeah, that cappuccino was so good this morning. It was cinnamon. It was 20 ounces. Um, yeah, my weight's been like, it was like 97.2 for three days in a row, and then it was 97.6. And then the next day, it, I, I weighed myself first, and it was like 98 or something, 98 point something, and I was like, oh, fuck. And then I weighed myself again, and I was 97.2, and I'm like, all right, I am so fucking sick of this number. I'm just done with it. And then 96.8, and now I'm 96.2. Yeah! Nah. So tomorrow, when they weigh myself, when they weigh me at the doctor's office, I'm gonna be like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> like, um, she's probably. I'm just. What if I get sent away, guys? Like, what if I get sent away? What if she's like, yeah, you need to be in this mental hospital because, like, we want to make money off your broke mom and we want to, like, make her pay $1,200 a day for your stay here. And then, like, if you have, like, a freak out because of all the food you're eating and, like, all this other stuff because you can't binge and purge, then you're going to have to get sent to the emergency, like, in, like the big, huge hospital, and then that'll cost you even more money. Yeah! So yeah, um, I'm kind of hoping I don't go mad and hoping I don't go in there because what am I going to do without my hair straightener? And like I wouldn't have any clothes with me and stuff. But guys, if I would bring clothes with me, that'd be like setting myself up for disaster. Like that'd be like, oh, I'm prepared to go here. Yeah, I'm prepared. Like I'm kind of like expecting that I'm going to be in here. What if she makes me go in there because of my meds? Fuck, guys, no, this isn't, no, because I'd be on eating disorder patrol, and I couldn't, like, and now, <laughs> now, I couldn't drink coffee, and I couldn't drink tea, and, like, I'd have to eat, like, normal food throughout the day, and I couldn't be, like, all, like, 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 I'm not gonna eat lunch today, <laughs> and then I'm gonna drink coffee, and I'm gonna listen to music while I'm watching videos on Tumblr, like, I'm not, I can't, you can't do that, you can't do that, no, you have to, like, you eat at the table, and you go and you chill out with all your mental friends, and then you go in the room, and the like, the therapy stuff, and then like, you take your meds, and you go to sleep, so it's not exactly like whatever you can do, like, no, 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 and then I'd probably gain like all the weight that, ah, I just, fuck, 
Like, it was so hard to get this low. Like, when I went, like, before I went in the treatment, I was like, oh my god, I'm never going to get fucking back to 96 or 94.8 or however low I wanted to go. I just want to go under 100 again. And I was, like, 105 or something, and I was like, fuck, I'm never going to get there. <laughs> so, I was like, it's it was so stressful, and then I was, like, all stressed out and fucking shit and just very depressed and mind greedy, and I overdosed. And now I'm getting really hyper and stuff, which is not good. So, I need to, like, calm the fuck down. Like, come the fuck down and come the fuck ah. Crack, 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 crack. I'm a little cut out. Ah. Don't do that. Okay, I'm a helicopter. So, yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to go in there. I want to. I don't even want to go close to there because then I'm probably gonna have to stay there, and I don't want to stay there. But if I keep saying that, that's like saying that I'm going to be going there. But like when you're that close, like, okay, so her office is like in the same building as the mental hospital. So pretty much, yeah, like once I'm in there, like there could be a chance of me never going outside of that building until like, what, like a long time. So I'm scared. <laughs> Guys, what if I get sent away? What if I get sent away? What if I get sent away? What if I... <laughs> I don't wanna... Like, I haven't been in treatment in over a year. and that, Well, almost over a year. Okay, like, on November 30th, it'll be a year. And so, since I've been in a treatment place. So, yeah. Dude, I also attempted suicide, like... Like two days after my brother's birthday, that's pretty bad. Yeah, like the la my last week outside of treatment, like nutrition and wellness class was getting really fucking triggering. They were talking about like cows in a way of just calling them like not animals and just meat and stuff. And I'm just like, ah ha ha, na na na, and like forcing me to eat stuff. I'm like, fuck you. And the teacher kept me up after class, like, why aren't you eating in class? And I'm just like, mm hmm. You know, like I got so pissed off, I actually left and I talked to the counselor. I'm like, fuck you, and then I ended up eating three freaking cookies that were out there. They're like a fucking mother load of cookies that were just laying there for the bakery thing and the counseling office thing and the guidance counseling office room and no one was out there. So I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna grab some cookies. So Yep, that's how that ended. And woo! Um and then I had like two fat pays on one day. And I also had a chicken sandwich and I like purged and it was so good. And then, yeah, I don't really purge meat or eat meat anymore. But sometimes I eat it because like I'm just a fucktard and I'm like a fucktard. So, you know, it's just, it, 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 it happens sometimes. So don't, 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 don't. I, I understand. I understand that, that it's bad and stuff. But just, just, I get it. Okay. I get it. So, yeah, and I played sick on Thanksgiving so that I wouldn't have to go up to Sioux Falls with my mom and brother to see Leo and Kay and Alyssa and my grandparents and just stayed home and then like that weekend I overdosed. It sucked. Yeah. So, dude, the same day I overdosed, I'm pretty sure I got my kitty shirt and my shoes so I'm like you know clothes like when you get it when you're sad it just makes you happy cause you're like oh that's cute you know so you're like hey this stuff is gonna make my mood better so yeah so I'm gonna go now already okay I also had a cookie today and I kept it like after after lunch okay so Bailey this girl I used to be best friends with she came in the class with a cookie. It was like 2.50, so like 20 minutes to class got out. And then everyone, Brayden's like, where'd you get a cookie? And then I was, and she's like, and then something about like forgetting to get Lisa one, which is the teacher. And so she went back to get one. And then like I went with her and then Brayden went with her and Kara went with her and Kylie went around. She's like, he said we can each, she said we can each have one. And so, yeah, I grabbed one and it was so good. It was like. It was like, it had like red frosting like all over it, like a coat of it. It wasn't like that gooey kind of frosting, it was more like 
the kind that's crusted on it, you know? And it was like decorated like Santa or something. It was really pretty. So yeah, I ate that. And I kept it. And then I was hungry. And I was like... So yeah. Um... Oh yeah, look, it's food I've eaten before. Ha! Yes, 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 I like food. Oh my gosh, two apple cores. They smell good. Yeah, I eat as much of the apple as I can. So, get the most nutrients from it. So, yeah, I'm a girl now. Before silliness occurs and the silly world of silliness. So, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Before my mom gets home and gives me food so I can eat and then barf, maybe. And then, like, go back to the computer and drink my licorice spice tea. Yes, okay. So, my science teacher has this in the student lounge. And ha, it smells so good. It's like this kind that I used to have when I was really sick in, like, seventh grade and stuff. And it's cheaper. It's just, um, it's called, it's from the brand Stash. And it's called Premium Licorice Spice Caffeine Free Herbal Tea. La -da -da. Ha ha ha. La -da -da. It has a lot of licorice root cinnamon, orange peel, Chinese star, anise, vanilla flavor, and then a bunch of other. -da -da -da. But I can't really read it that well because this flash camera is just looking at me like constantly. The flash is on my face. And so like whenever I look away and try to read it something else, it's like a little blue dot. So yeah. When I was walking today, like after school, it'd be like I'd be it'd be like black sparkly, like fainting, time to pass out and like lay down because I feel like like it just it, 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 like like that. Like you should not not I can't walk, like it's hard for me to walk, you know, because I was like, I went, I was on the couch, and then I walked in here, from there, and it was like, whoa, and then like, I can't, like before that, I, to get to the couch, like, oh, I got out of my room, and then I like held onto the door, and I like leaned on it, like, because I felt like I was just going to like pass out right there, and I'm like, oh my gosh, and then I went there, and I'm just like, eh, stay here, so yeah, I'm going to go now, bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye. And my hair isn't falling out as much, so that's good. Bye. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. Okay, it's not off yet. Look at my wall. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Don't look at Jaden. He's a he's a dick. Yeah. Okay. So bye bye.